on the idea of race. Why do we need new systems of the divisions of man, when the Bible already divides humans into nations? The Bible, with history bearing witness to this as well, divides humanity into multiple nations, not these four to six continent, slash, color groups. Just because some apes, have some similar physical features with humans, doesn't mean apes and humans, somehow, are related, or that evolution, and the idea that humans, and apes together, have the same origins, is true. Likewise, just because some nations in Europe, have some similar phenotypes, compared to nations in other continents, doesn't mean the nations in Europe, should be confidently lumped into one group based on that. They are not one nation. Same with nations on other continents, or other facial features. Nations in West Africa are very far away from peoples in East Africa, even though people might think they look similar. If you see a man from the other side of your country, who looks a bit more like you, than your own brother does, that doesn't mean that man, is a member of the same family and clan as you. Also, if my cousin, my father's brother's son, looks radically different than me, it does not mean, that he suddenly, must be a member of another family than me. Let me just point out to you that, the word race, is never found in the Bible, except for to talk about someone running a race, which is obviously a complete. But the concept of there being different races on this earth, is not a biblical concept. Now the Bible does talk about there being nationalities, talks about there being families, it talks about kindreds and tribes, but it does not ever talk about there being a race. And you say, well, what's the difference, Pastor Aaron? Well, there's a big difference. This is a strain about tribalism in the Middle East, and specifically in Saudi Arabia, because we are a very tribalistic society, and everybody just looks at which tribe you come from, rather than who you are, or what race you are, or even what class you are. Tribalism is a very different class system than anything that you can find in the West. And to start explaining that, at least for me, is a little bit hard because for me, it's more like the status quo. The same reason why I don't understand race relations between black people and white people in the West. I think it's the same reason why Westerners, when they come to societies like in Saudi Arabia, they don't really understand what tribalism is. So uh, someone's also just asked, uh, are there many black Saudis uh, on, on the topic of that? Yeah. How are yeah, they treated within the tribes? Uh, we we don't really care, They're like we don't we don't. Uh, but by the way, yes, most of us are kind of like darkish brown in color, but we have a lot of black people in there, and there's never been a time when we looked at black people different just because they're black. Mm -hmm. It's a tribal system, it's a classist system, it's not a racist system. We Would you say it's more uh, xenophobia against those outside the tribes other than racism? Yes. Yes, it's pretty much like, yeah, you're part of my tribe if you're not part of my tribe. If you're from an upper tribe, then yeah, I will just kneel before you and try to gain favor. If you're in a lower tribe, then I would despise you because you're beneath me. Mm. It's a classist system. It's not a racist system. That's why I, I don't really, I try my best to try to understand how racists think in the West and yeah. how you can combat against that. I, I don't get it. I Seriously, I try my best. I just don't get it. It's just two completely different concepts, I guess, between uh, yeah. what's considered exclusionist in the Middle East and what's considered exclusionist in the West. Yeah. It's a completely different thing, so that's why I just... I don't know. It just doesn't compute in my head. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand racism because... Within our tribes, you'd see people from different races. You'd see like black people, and sometimes like some, some people like me who are like brownish, kind of like you know, uh, to the pale scale. You can have some darker brown people in there. We don't really consider people from different 
colors of their skin or different origins. Even like some people would have more African kind of structure to their face. And we know that their origins are from Africa. We don't really go, it's all about who, which tribe you're from. And that really sets your value. Here's the thing, I'm not trying to unite humanity. Because I believe that there should be separate nations. European unity, European unity, European unity, 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 unity. Unity. A compelling idea. And that is that Europe wants to come together. Come together. Come together. And I do believe that we should have separate languages. I don't think everybody should speak English in the world. God divided man based on language. God divided man based on nationality. Think about Europe for a second. Europe, right? Whether they're French, German, Polish, Swedish, they're all white. But does that mean they've all been united throughout history? No, that, it's, there's a big difference, okay? Because people unite along other lines, not just, uh, oh, we're both the same color? You know, th no, that's not always enough to unite people, okay? So people should be divided based on religion. You know, we shouldn't unite all religions. We don't need to unite all languages into Esperanto. We don't need to unite all nationalities into a one world government. Even throughout Africa, just because everybody's black in Africa or parts of Africa doesn't mean they're all united. They're all warring against each other in Africa. Europeans are warring against each other. I mean, tell that to Chinese and Japanese that they're just united because they're both the same nationality. No, they're not.